Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today we are back again talking about jailbreaking, and in this video, we're going to focus directly on the latest news regarding the upcoming iOS 11.3.1 Electra jailbreak. <laughs> We are so close to a public iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak utility release, guys. The anticipation is real and justified at this point. So before we start, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below and ding that notification bell to be updated when we release future updates and coverage pertaining to said jailbreak. So jumping back real fast, if you guys recall, Tanner's latest jailbreak update left off with Coolstar announcing some incredible news Electra can now jailbreak up to iOS 11.3.1. Now, after seeing this tweeted out for a second there, I was almost expecting this to be the news, being the tweet announcing that the jailbreak has been released, but after later reviewing it, I can see Coolstar was simply updating the community of his progress. Again, this was announced directly through the Electra jailbreak's official Twitter, I guess not directly from Coolstar, but still it is regarding the official Electra jailbreak, and he is the main developer in creating it. Still, with that being said, according to the members involved in creating this jailbreak utility, it has not been delayed, and we are still very likely to see a public release here very soon. Now, before we get too far in this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. I'm blown away by the amazing responses and the involvement with our latest videos we've published, so I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching. But moving on to today's updates, there have been a couple updates preceding this awesome news, and I just wanted to keep everyone in the loop of what's going on since we are so close to a public release. Again, for now, there's no official ETA given by the Electro development team, and I can't really speculate myself on how long this process will take, but we do actually know one important fact. There is only going to be one final public release. There won't be any developer or public betas, so again guys, the public release is very close, and developers won't have a beta like this tweet states right here. If they want to update their tweaks early, they're recommended to get an iOS device on 11.1.2. And this was tweeted out directly from Coolstar just yesterday at 12.30. So jumping back once more, for those of you who saw Tanner's latest couple of updates, you will remember there was a major problem with remounting the file system and having everything function properly, specifically on iOS 11.3.1 post jailbreaking. But like Tanner and I have said in all of our videos, there really was no reason to worry because Ian Beer's exploit works all the way up to iOS 11.3.1. Sure, there was this unexpected remount issue that took some time to fix, but now the day has come where it has finally been resolved. So before I get into the new news today, I just wanted to give a quick recap for everyone that hasn't been following along. Initially, when Coolstar first found out about this remount issue, he tweeted out this. He says, worst case scenario, I do have an alternate solution that we can use for 11.3.1 users. Now, and then just a couple days later, he says he's found a much better zero-day APFS workaround to fix this remount issue. But again, this is a private bug that Coolstar has yet to release that he was planning on releasing worst case scenario if no other solution was found. But really, Coolstar and the jailbreak community now has their cake and is eating it too, as there have now been three zero-day bugs that have been found to fix and resolve this remount issue for iOS 11.3.x users, and one of them was actually publicly disclosed by this developer named Spark Zhang. So again, just to lay everything out clearly, so Coolstar has one private zero-day exploit which he could release to the public with his Electra jailbreak, very worst case to fix the remount issue. Now at the same time, another developer named Jonathan Levin has his own private zero-day exploit as well, which again, he could also use and supplement to Coolstar's Electra jailbreaks or use on his personal projects like Liber iOS. But then lastly and most importantly, Spark Zhang now has publicly released information regarding his bug that he found. Now this is just incredible news for two reasons. One, this not only fixes the bug on the Electra jailbreak, but two, this also means that Coolstar essentially won't have to give away or waste or burn his zero-day exploit, and he won't have to release it to the public. This means that Apple will not have access to his private exploit, meaning they won't be able to patch it, because obviously he won't be releasing it anymore. He will be using SparkSing's method instead. Anyway, ultimately looping back to why this is incredibly important and groundbreaking news, it means that Coolstar will still be able to use his zero-day exploit privately on his own for future jailbreak development, say for an iOS 12 jailbreak. Again, Coolstar tweeted out saying, for those asking, I'm not going to be using my APFS zero-day in 11.3.1, 
In his public jailbreak, he says that Sparksang has already provided another way to remount it and will be using that one when it's ready. There's no sense in burning two APFS remount methods on one jailbreak. So again, these bugs are incredibly hard to come by. Coolstar, Jonathan Levin, and now Sparkzang all have one at their disposal. Sparkzang has already disclosed his information publicly, meaning Apple is probably already on its way to patch it. But again, Coolstar still has his in the background that's still private and most likely will still persist on iOS 12 if all goes according to plan. Again, like I've been talking about, it sounds like he will be saving his remount method for iOS 12 and he states hopefully Apple doesn't patch it. Anyway, some amazing progress has been made towards this public release. We are so close, guys. Hang in there and be patient, and we'll promptly update you on any major developments, and of course, when this jailbreak utility is released to the public. So to leave this video on a high note, I just want to show you guys some of Coolstar's latest tweets. Again, this is the one that I just showed you a couple tweets ago, but his latest one is his iPad Pro setup. Again, it's completely jailbroken. So it looks like it's very stable. And then scrolling down just a little bit, he also posted this tweet of Cydia fully open on his iPad. Again, you guys can see his iPad identifier right there, but this is the Cydia home screen on his iPad in its fullest. So it looks like Cydia is now functioning on iOS 11.3.1. So this is just great news that he has Cydia up and running and that he's already on his way customizing his iPad Pro running iOS 11.3.1. So guys, like I said, the jailbreak is almost here. And if you guys want to stay updated on when it comes out and be notified the second it does, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell to be notified the second we release new coverage pertaining to this jailbreak. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video today, please let me know with that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below if you guys are excited as I am for this new jailbreak. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.